J2EE versus .NET, Java Enterprise Edition versus .NET Framework. So we are going to see the comparison, means similarity and difference. So J2EE architecture and .NET architecture, if we talk about client tier, J2EE has Swing and AWT and dynamic HTML pages along with applets, while .NET architecture has dynamic HTML pages, Windows forms, and .NET controls. If we talk about web tier, J2EE has JSP pages, .NET has C Sharp and ASP.NET. If we talk about business tier, we have Enterprise Beans, Java Beans and JDBC. And here .NET, COM, serviced components, that is along with JDBC comparing, we have ADU.NET. And database tier, we have database and database, any database. So execution engine in J2EE is Java source code compiles into machine independent bytecode. That is runtime environment is JVM and .NET we have the runtime environment as CLR. So both JVM and CLR support services such as code verification, memory management via garbage collection and code security. And what about cross platform portability? J2EE is platform independent, JDK should exist on target machine. And what about .NET? It supports Windows platform only and CLR should exist on target machine, same as this and can support other platforms provided it has its own JIT, just in time compiler. And language support, J2EE is tied to Java only and supports other language wise some interface technology while .NET is language independent. Support any language if mapping exists from that language to the IL, that is intermediate language. And the tooling support, the tools, J2EE can employ any number of tools. The pros may be, developer has a great deal of choice, while the con is difficulty in choosing the right tool for a given job. And .NET, we have Visual Studio .NET, single ID, for building any an application. So thank you so much. Hope you understood the difference and the comparison between J2EE and .NET.